browser-based um, uh, uh, graphing tool. And uh, they started off browser-based, and then they got really into um, this sort of real-time dashboardy stuff. So mostly now, uh, it's a tool that people use through something like Python or or, or another another tool. Um, but they committed when they first put it up, and so most they make their money by by selling subscriptions to uh, you know businesses, uh, enterprises, and things of that nature. But they committed when they they first. So we were one of the first schools to use it, that they would always keep it free, right? So there's an option if you guys go somewhere. So so I think it it it's obviously this isn't the priority of their business, and it's gotten not um, as much attention as it got in the first many years. Uh, but there's still an option. So I've signed in. So you guys have to create an account. And again, with all the tools that we use in our class, just as a reminder, there's sort of sometimes the implication that you should uh, you know, pay money or do the paid version. You don't need to ever do that, right? You don't need to ever do the, a paid version of anything. So in this case, just sign up for the free version. And this is me. And I'm, I'm logged in. I'm signed in here now. And so if I say create... I could say something, I want to make a chart, let's say. And this is the dialog box. And this is pretty common with most of most of these uh, uh, graphical interface graphing programs. So there's some space over here. They, they use different names. In the case of Plotly, they call this a grid. Um, but in any event, this is, this is like where the data is going to be parked, right? And then we have the visualization uh, uh, pane. Um, the thing with Plotly is uh, they call they call a graph or a figure or or one instance a, a trace. Um, so here we go. So what I would do here is I would say here's my space. I want and I'm gonna come. I can copy and paste. I can copy and just you know select some cells, copy those, paste them in. But I'm gonna do an import. And oops, sorry. I'm gonna upload my file. And I just saved a version. I, I, I trimmed off a bunch of the data from the, one of the things you guys could handle just so it's a simple thing to look at. So here it is. So the file I gave you, it said year and then city and then year and then city and year and city. I just deleted the column that said year, so I only have one year. So now I have some of these are San Francisco, Los Angeles, San Diego, etc. And maybe I want to look at the, the trend over time, right? So I can do bar chart. I can do... Scatter plot, I can do whatever I want. So I'm gonna come up here and say, I wanna do, I wanna trace something, and then maybe I wanna do a line. And I just say, what's my x variable? I'd say, okay, I want year to be my x variable, and what's my y? I don't know, San Francisco. Right? And then, and that's it. And so here's here's my here's my graph, right? Now I can uh and if, if, if Plotly is something you guys do want to use for this semester, which is fine, that's great. I would suggest, you know, make a stab and see if you can generate, a, you know, this first part of the figure. And then you want to spend some time, if you've not used Plotly, to look at all the, the tweakable options, right? Every program will have some idiosyncratic ways to do that. Um, uh, for example, uh, there's, there's like traces up here, but there's traces down in here. Um, so I can, uh, I can, if I do multiple, uh, plots on here, I can name each one. I can change my color to, you know, whatever. Um, I can make my line thicker. Like all the things you typically would want to do, I, I can do with this, right? Um, and then, uh, uh, I can export it. I can export it as an image, which is what you basically want to do. I have to save it first. If I try to export it right now, it'll say you have to save it, but I can save it. Plotly will save this part. will save the data frame and the figure. Um, and I should just say that with, and this is becoming more and more the trend, with Plotly, the native, the native product is, is an interactive online, is code, is code to generate this this stuff, right? So you can embed it in a blog post, you can embed it in a newspaper article, you could, whatever, right? And the advantage with that is like, so if you have a look at this, my figure right here, you guys, right? Here it is. Here's what it'll look like on my phone, right? Phone screen, maybe this is what it's gonna look like on my, my, my tablet screen or whatever. So it's all dynamically changing in, in, as it's being visualized. 
which is great if our, if our audience here is primarily an online consumer of the data. Um, in the case of what you will be pro producing for us most of the time, you're producing static figures. So in that case, you're just going to export a, a PDF or export a, you know, a PNG, a, 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 an image. And so, um, so you do want to, uh, you know, try that a couple times before you're ready to submit it and make sure you understand all the, all the variables. Um, uh, yeah, anyway, so, but, but, but quick and dirty, that's Plotly, right? So um, the free account, I think you can, sa you can save up to 100 figures. If you, if you save more than 100, it'll say you can't save anymore. And so you have to delete some of your old ones. Um, It depends. If you're someone like me that makes like 25 versions of each graph to sort of just see how it looks, uh, it seems to run out quickly. But um, but but yes, for, for our class, for your purposes, if you guys are just starting it, yes, it should be plenty to get through our class with. Cool. So that's Plotly. It's a useful tool. It's a cool tool. Again, it's accessed through any browser. So you could be on a PC. You could be on a, you know, whatever. Um, and you are good to go.